Hello, welcome to Columbus, Ohio. I am Rachel Miller and this is Color Splash. So today I wanted to do sort of a flower blowout if it will work for me. And I kind of started with an experiment. I put down a pillow of both regular acrylic, acrylic and a pearl acrylic. Let me turn off my fan for a moment. Sorry about that guys. So I put down um, a regular acrylic in kind of a flowerish pattern and then went in between with my pearl mix and then kind of mixed it up a little bit. So I don't know what's going to happen, but I figured I'd just give it a shot and start laying down my colors. So I'm going to start with um, a Payne's Gray by Amsterdam. And I'm just going to do a very simple flower, whoops, flower pattern. If I can get it to come off my stick, for Pete's sakes. Okay, perhaps I needed to thin my paint down a little bit more. So I'm just doing a basic flower shape if I can get it there, for heaven's sakes. And I'm just going to stack lots of fun colors and see what happens. I mean, I think it's super fun to see what happens when you mix a lot of colors and then hit it with the blow dryer. Especially when the colors are kind of layered in front and behind each other, not necessarily right on top of each other. I kind of do a mix, some right on top of each other and some kind of stacked in, in front and behind each other. So there's my Payne's Gray by Amsterdam, pardon my reach. Then I'm gonna go with Neutral Gray by Amsterdam. I sort of wanna have a kind of grayscale background to the colors that are going to come next. I don't know if that makes sense, but I kind of like a lot of black and white with then lots of hints of color popping out. And I think it can look especially cool in a flower if I could actually get this paint to come off my stick well. And it always seems to have trouble on this petal. Oh, Lordy. It is a dreary, awful morning here in Columbus. I, I'm trying to imagine that I'm someplace else much nicer right now because it's so dreary here. Now, this is a custom shade of gray I made just by taking the neutral gray and mixing it with a little Artist Loft soft body white. And it came out with this really beautiful light dove gray looking color that I'm really liking. So I definitely want to get some of this down. And I think I'm going to then jump to a little bit of Payne's Gray, but this is the um, Arteza version and it has substantially more Prussian blue color in it than the Amsterdam one has. Oops. So I'd like to get some of this in my painting also. Maybe not tons. And now I think I'm gonna start layering blues. This is Brilliant Blue by Amsterdam, and it is exactly what its name says. It is a brilliant, vibrant, bright blue color that just makes me happy. I, I have really grown to love this color and find myself using it all the time now. That's good enough. And now I'm gonna go with a color that's newer to me called King's Blue by Amsterdam. And I'm kind of doing a smaller petal towards the inside of the flower with this color. I'm 
not necessarily layering on top of one another, but real close to one another. And the petals don't have to be perfect. They are absolutely going to be blown out with the blow dryer and it will not make any difference if it's a little sloppy like mine. Next, I'm going with a color called Sky Blue by Amsterdam. I realize I use a lot of Amsterdam paint, but I'm very fond of the way it moves on a canvas. And they have a lot of colors I'm really attached to. But I am going to skip to a color called Parchment by Liquitex Basics. And this color I'm going to get right kind of in the center of each petal. And I use this color because it adds a lot of dimension to my pearl cells. And I'm hoping to get quite a few pearl cells in this painting since I've used a pearl paint base, which means that I'm using both satin enamel and acrylic paint. So I will use anywhere from 20 to 50% satin enamel, and then I make up the difference. If I use 20%, then I use 80% Artist Loft White. If I use 50%, then I use 50% Artist Loft White, if that makes sense. This is another custom color of mine that I made using um, Liquitex Basics Dioxazine Purple mixed with a little Amsterdam Neutral Gray and Artist Loft Soft Body White. So there are three colors in this, but what I ended up with is a very kind of grayish purple soft color that I really, really like. I just want to get some grabs of it here and there. Now I'm going to move on to um, Turquoise Green by Amsterdam. Definitely one of my favorite colors. I think I use this in almost everything I do. It is a really pretty compliment to the Payne's Gray. And I think it just makes every color around it jump. And then I am going to jump to another custom color of mine that I call Parakeet. And it is Amsterdam Olive Green Light Hue mixed with Artist Loft Soft Body White. And it just makes this beautiful, vibrant green that just sort of jumps, sort of pops. I love it. Then I'm going to use just kind of in the tips, whoops, a little bit of translucent red by Amsterdam. This color is very translucent and um, is very easily overwhelmed. And I'm going to put near it a little bit of permanent red violet by Amsterdam. And I'm just sort of going on the edges of the petals with this color. Maybe one little dab in the center. That's good. And then I am going to put down a little bit of primary magenta. I'm going all out on this guy. No question about it. That is by Amsterdam. Then I'm going to add a little bit of cadmium yellow by Liquitex Basics. And I'm keeping this more towards the center because I want that yellow color to show towards the center of this flower. Hopefully this will end up looking like a flower when I blow it out. Like, I'm really good with the paint mixing, and I think that I have a decent intuition to where to lay the colors down, but I am still learning how to really use the blow dryer. So, 
There's no guarantee this will come out the way I want it to, that's for sure. This is a little bit of Prussian blue by Amsterdam. Whoops, it's going a little heavier than I wanted. That's okay. I do want a little bit in the center. Okay. Ooh, this is covered in white paint. I think that, ha oh, I missed one important color. I want to use a little bit of iridescent copper by Pebeo, one of my hands down favorite metallics. I just love the way this shimmers and shines and it definitely works well on a pearl base. And I can't say that is true of all the um, metallic. Some work on a pearl base, others do not. I found that 24 karat gold, although I love it, it doesn't work as beautifully as I wish it would on a pearl base. So I have to kind of be creative and find other metallics to use. I'm just putting down a little bit more of this Liquitex Basics parchment color. I really want my pearl cells to have some contrast to them. So I'm definitely trying to get a lot of this color in here. Okie dokie. And maybe I will utilize just a teensy weensy bit of Naples yellow. And this one is by Amsterdam, although Pebio has a really nice one also. So I think I'm just going to finish off by putting a little bit, just a little bit more of my Payne's Gray down, just a tiny couple drops. And that is it. So now I need my cell activator. Actually, this is sort of, I'm going to sort of tilt this a little bit. See if I can get that center of the flower truly in the center of my pan. There we go. Now I'm going to lay down my cell activator, which is simply Amsterdam Lamp Black mixed with Australian Floetrol. And I'm really trying to float this on top of the paint but I don't really want to trap any of this paint like I just did inside my center. And I need enough of this to really blow out across the entire painting. This is what's going to really give me some lacing and some gorgeous, gorgeous pearl cells. This works so beautifully with the pearl base. And by the way, I never ever thin my pearl base with water. If I have to thin it, I use a little bit of Liquitex pouring medium. You can even use GAC 800, but water, mm, not so much. Okay, now I'm going to use my blow dryer and on the low cool setting, let's see what happens. I had this on a turntable.
All right, what a beautiful flower. I'm so excited. Let me just scrape the edges of my canvas. Oops. All right. Okay, guys, I'm excited because I have a lot of trouble still with the blow dryer. So this is kind of an accomplishment for me to get the flower shape. I am really excited. And now I'm going to take a skewer and a clean paper towel. And I'm just going to dab in the center here with my skewer and try to bring a few more pearl cells to the surface to close in my center a little bit more. All I'm doing is simply breaking the surface tension, if it will work for me, and allowing the paint underneath to rise, but I don't see it working this time. There we go, I got one. There's one, there. I don't know if you could see that white dot rising up. Well, this does not want to cooperate, but that's okay because I'm getting so many beautiful cells. I am really happy with this. Yay, this is fabulous. And I'm so glad that I did a mix of regular acrylic and um, my pearl base because my pearl base is highly aggressive, this batch. I used a 50-50 mix of acrylic and artist lock or the artist lock and the satin enamel so it is an extremely aggressive mix meaning I'm getting lots and lots of pearl cells so I am really glad that I put down a little bit of that acrylic paint it sort of slows down this pearl reaction a little bit and keeps the cells within reason. All right, let me bring you guys in for a closer look. This is gorgeous. Look at this beautiful flower and look at those cells in the center. Now, all of these little cells here those I brought up, all those white ones I brought up with my skewer. And all I was simply doing was breaking the surface tension and allowing the paint underneath to rise. But look at all these beautiful cells and the lacing. It's just gorgeous. I mean, oh my goodness, it reminds me of stained glass. Just spectacular. And I, I'm really glad to have sections where you can really see the color without the pearls interfering, which is why I used a mix of that acrylic and my pearl base. It gave me a much softer, softer petal. Wow. Wow. Just gorgeous. I am so excited about this one, guys. I hope and pray that this dries well in my wonky house. I've done this on a 12 by 12 wooden canvas. And I think I've leveled my drying surface, but I can see this table isn't level. Things are starting to shift already. So I'm gonna shut this camera down and move this beautiful painting to its drying location and we'll have dry results for you um, in one of my upcoming dry results videos. Thank you so much for joining me today, guys. Please remember to click like and subscribe. And as always, happy painting, y'all. Bye.